welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name is Amy. Today I will be speaking on camera without a mask um, and my teeth are pretty gnarly so if that is something that's going to bother you or freak you out this probably isn't the video for you. Otherwise I'll see you on the other side. Hello beautiful creatures. Welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name is Amy and I'm so glad you're here today. I hope you're doing well. If this is your first time to my channel. Hi, hello, how are you? I'm so happy and thankful that you decided to view my video. I hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, hey guys, what's up? It's always such a joy for me to connect with your energy and I really appreciate you returning to watch my videos. It means a lot to me. So today I'm doing a pick a card. This is a general reading, it's a general session. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I do offer personal and private sessions. All that information is down in my description box below and my contact information will be somewhere on the screen. Ugh, my forehead itches. <laughs> anyway, so um, we're going to be doing a pick a card on what are their thoughts and feelings for you now. So, um, and we're going to be using three tarot decks. So I'm going to push these back here a little bit so you can, these will be your selections. I will be drawing cards from each of from this deck for that stack. Each stack has its own tarot. So, okay, so the first stack is gonna be um, the Starman Tarot. So I'll just let you get a look. It's uh, one of my oldest decks and uh, it's a really magical, magical deck. Um, then we have the Fairy Tarot. This deck has been popping all day long, so um, you might wanna go with that. It's really energetically charged. Um, the last deck here is, uh, Art Nouveau, I think I'm in Art Nouveau, a uh, Golden Tarot, and this is my go-to deck. So, um, whenever I need clarity, whenever I need um, further information, more in detail, I usually go to that tarot. So, I uh, take a moment um, and meditate on which deck you're drawn to. I will also insert a photograph, so you can do that as well. And uh, I will see you on the other side. Hello group one, all of you that selected the Starman Tarot, we're going to find out what your person's thoughts and feelings are now. So, all right, let me get some tarot and then I'll draw some oracle and then um, a few other cards and then we'll get into it. Okay, so I know a lot of people like to see the shuffling, so we're going to make that happen. Okay, group one's person's thoughts and feelings. Group one, Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put those back in. Okay, group one's thoughts and feelings, or person's thoughts and feelings. Group one, group one. Group one, okay, go on that one. I just can't see that, there we go. That one. I'm gonna get five cards and then we'll, oops, I didn't mean to flip that over. <laughs> I wanna see be surprised, don't you? <laughs> I do. Let's see. Is that five? Yeah. Okay. Let's get one of these Beyond Lemuria oracles. Your person's thoughts and feelings. Your person's thoughts and feelings. Group one. The Starman Tarot. The Starman Tarot is a very magical tarot deck. So your connection may feel very magical. You may feel magic with them. But there's a chemistry there. Okay. All right, let's get... Let me get a couple of these from the Lover's Oracle. This is such a great deck. hard to shuffle though so <laughs> yeah okay so group one thoughts their person's thoughts and feelings okay, I had to get underneath the table to get the card but I got it I'm gonna get one more I feel like three is a good number for this stack so three of these I'm going to shuffle them again one more please that one okay we're gonna get a couple from the uh, romance angels I'm gonna shuffle this three times Once more. Okay. Person's thoughts and feelings. Thoughts and feelings. 
Ooh, and this one. This one. Okay. I'm going to get a few cards from, this is just channeled messages from, uh, from Spirit. Uh, I use this deck for love readings often. So I just have different um, like thoughts and quotes and things like that. So and fill this one. I'm going to get probably three of these as well. The person's thoughts and feelings. Okay. All right. So let's see what we got. See where we're going. Okay. I'm going to look at the tarot first. All right. We have the devil. Okay. That's a powerful card. Um, we have the six of pentacles. Beautiful. We have the king of swords. We have the star. Beautiful energy. And we have the high priestess. Wow. Out of five cards, you have three major arcana. So this is a major relationship. Um, it's, it has been, it may not be anymore. It just depends. Everyone's different. Okay. This is a major connection in your life. Um, let's keep going and get some more energy here on the table. Uh, we have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. We have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So this is someone that um, you have a deep connection with. Uh, playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. I feel like y'all have had some, some bumps in the road. It's been pretty bumpy. This one, I'm getting bumps. Like spirit saying, it's been bumpy. It's been bumpy. Okay. Um, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Yeah, I think this person has really fond memories of you, of times together. So, and you guys might be going through a difficult situation with the devil card here. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Okay. Imagine all the unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Then we have balanced forces beautiful card that's energetically the energy I'm getting that's going on here um, between that person okay <laughs> they are coming so they oh, that this is a couple messages okay I feel like they want to come see you or they want to see you again or they want you to come see them but there's there is they miss you a lot I feel like you guys may be in separation or you may have had a fight or you may just be far apart there's definitely energy here of um, wanting to see you again and missing you. Rebel. So they think you're pretty original. They think you're an outside the box kind of person. You may be an Aquarius. You may have some powerful Uranus energy in your chart. Leader. So I'm feeling like um, for some of you, this your person is a leader here or they know that you have a lot to give. I feel like this is potential. They feel like potential here. Um, in the relationship as well so all right um this is definitely a soulmate so it's important it's an important connection with all this major arcana and the soulmate card here but there is this card of forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment i feel like your person is just really sorry i don't know if you guys had a fight or things aren't going the way you two wanted them to go, but I feel like they're just really sorry and they miss you. So maybe you broke up. Um, if you did, it's not because you don't love each other. It's because something happened here with the devil card, okay? So this is a general reading, a general session, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. But definitely there's this energy here. You know, the devil is about, you know, sexuality. It's about addiction. Um, and it could be that they're just powerfully attracted to you and um, maybe your drives didn't match to a degree, or maybe your person has some kind of um, compulsion, not, not addiction, but like a compulsion, like um, maybe they flirt a lot, maybe that upset you, um, maybe they, uh, maybe they're, Maybe they want to be poly and you don't want to be poly. I feel like there's another presence here, but it doesn't feel threatening. I don't think it's threatening your relationship. I think maybe there was a misstep. Maybe your person or maybe you just whichever flip the, flip the story. Um, maybe you or your person are just 
you're kind of naturally flirty and maybe you caught him or he caught you or something got crossed there and um, I'm feeling like they they miss you like they miss the hookup with you a lot and um, they feel like you're their star right but with the high priestess here I'm feeling a deep connection so maybe you guys met as kind of a hookup situation with this devil card and now they're like oh man Maybe that's what it is too. I'm feeling that for some of you. Um, yeah, like this is like a player, like player energy. Maybe y'all are friends with benefits or uh, it was a hookup situation, no judgment. And maybe it's developing into something more and your person is thinking of you, you, of you as the star. And But the deep connection is here with the high priestess. So um, then we have the king of swords here. I feel like there may have been some um, curt words said that um, hurt some feelings, you know, and there's an apology in order you know, to make this right. Like, I feel like one of you feels like maybe you were done wrong and um, I'm, I'm getting pulled to the they are coming. So I feel like if you're waiting for an apology, you're going to get it. Okay. It, it's coming. It's coming towards you. All right. Um, and imagine all the unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life. So I feel like you are their possibility in the impossible. Like they never thought that they would feel this way about somebody. They never thought somebody would get a hold of their heart, right? So um, even though there's distance here, I feel like there's hope as well because this person really loves you. They really care about you. And I think it bothers them to a degree um, because they don't have control of this, all right? The Six of Pentacles in this, in this particular deck it's about being guided. It's about, um, so you can see this like body coming down. I feel a lot of spiritual presence with this card. And the Starman Tarot, I read it a lot differently than other tarot decks. And it just feels like you guys are spiritually connected. Um, it's like there's a guide out here. This Tiger Man <laughs> uh, is, is uh, helping this being here. He's sending light and love. And I think that he said this person sends a lot of good energy towards you. And they want you to do well. I feel like they know you're going to do well. And they're trying to figure out how to balance this connection out. How to balance it out. And um, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you've shared with those you love. I think you have really good memories. I think um, they want to connect with you more deeply through friendship, through sharing some fun stuff. So I feel like they may come back uh, if you guys are broken up and they might want to start a friendship with you because they're trying to figure this out. They're trying to figure out how to make this a little bit lighter because this, this stack feels kind of heavy. Um, and I'm the playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner child, your youthful spirit of fun to shine. Sorry, my, my, I'm wearing contacts. So um, I'm feeling like there's a need here to be more playful. There's a need here to be more lighthearted. And they love the connection they have with you. They love that you guys, I think you guys can talk about things like friends. And they really want to develop that deeper. I think it makes your person feel safe. and feel like they can trust you with the high priestess here. Um, even though there, there may be some kind of um, situation where one of you feels put upon or... Uh, there was some kind of disagreement. I feel like they trust you. And I think at your heart, you trust them as well. There was just, I feel like hurt feelings here. And um, there is regret. There's a deep regret. Um, and it feels almost like a missed opportunity. And they don't want to miss this opportunity. So let's keep going. You are their star. So they think of you as beautiful. I'm hearing like this could be the mother of my children. Um, maybe you have children with this person or they want to have children with you. But this could be the mother of my children. And that's, you know, I read energy, not gender, but yeah. Tell me more about group one's person. What are their thoughts and feelings? Okay. We have sweet results await. Yeah. Freedom is yours. So I feel like um, their <laughs> sweet results wait. I think the um, the physical connection here is very sweet. All right, it's irresistible. It's like a bead of honey. Okay, they can't resist you. This devil cannot resist the star. 
um, I'll show it to you here. The devil energy cannot resist the star. So I'm feeling like this is the masculine energy and this is the feminine energy. And between you is this energy of sweet results await. So I feel like um, they cannot wait to see you again and um, to make things right. I feel like maybe this person hasn't been as deep with you as you would like and um, they want they want to do that with you. They want to give you the depth within their soul. But the freedom is yours, okay? I think um, they, this is interesting. Um, I feel like they, they ha they're resisting. They're resisting. They almost feel like you've captured their heart. And for someone who has been in situations where they've been really free, they've been able to come and go with people literally, and um, it hasn't been a big deal. I think their hookups haven't been really deep. They haven't had a lot of serious relationships probably. And um, there's part of them that's like, but right now I feel really free and I want to work on like our friendship. And now they will try probably to do a friends with benefits thing as well, okay? Because the devil's used to getting their way, all right? And in this situation, if you want more than that, then you're going to have to put your boundaries up and say, you know what? I just don't want to do that anymore. I just don't want to do it anymore. And if that's what you want, then on to the next kind of thing. And I know that's hard when it's an important soulmate and it's important energy here. But it may be a situation where the important part of this is how you react to it. The decisions you make. You know, where you want to be, what you want to do. It also could be that uh, your person feels very free with you. So it's almost like, and I'm feeling like sexual freedom here. So if you're with somebody who isn't like um, have player energy or friends with benefits or has a lot of people, then this is somebody that who may be a little repressed. That might be you. You may feel a little repressed sexually or repressed in the area of love. And uh, this person's energy, the devil's energy, comes in and it kind of frees you from the binds um, of oppression. Okay, we have coyote spirit. Trust in the divine detour. So if you guys are in separation um, or there's been a fight or something like that and you broke up, trust this process because it's going to help you in your future relationships. It can help you in this relationship. I don't feel like this relationship is over. I feel like um, it's like both of you are trying to find balance in your life and in how you feel. And I feel like you're trying to ground this energy with this balanced, balanced forces. And I feel like spirit guides are coming in with guidance to help you guys figure it out, figure out the connection. And um, it's really beautiful. They really want to see you again. Overcome any obstacle. Yeah, they, there may be distance here. That might be the issue. And they really want to see you again. Okay, and they're trying to figure out how to make that happen. And I'm hearing patience, time. It'll happen in due time. Don't, don't sweat it. You know, if you guys are like um, internet and stuff like that, then um, just enjoy that. Be playful. The advice here is to be playful. They like how playful you are. Um, I'm hearing like when you're playful, you're sexy, you know, and they want to crawl through the phone kind of thing or they want to crawl through the computer. So it makes them want to come uh, quickly. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, they want to come see you very quickly. So uh, it's good energy beautiful energy. What else can we get here for group one? Their person's thoughts and feelings. But it, they're serious. There's there's an element here of being being serious because they, they think that you could be the mother of their children. So that's a pretty profound thought for someone to have. Okay, so they want more. Portal. I'm trying to read this. Doors are opening, you decide, rewards, wild card. Okay, so I'm picking up on that, the wild energy with the devil and the star. Okay, so I feel like there's a primal energy between you two, and I think the devil feels it. The devil knows it. Maybe you aren't aware of it, or maybe you have kind of detached from that, but there's a really strong primal energy. It's a, it's a chemistry. It's like an animal-type attraction. It's, it's something that is driving the energy of your person to want to come see you. They miss you. They miss being around you. They miss, you know, the way you smell, the way your skin feels. They miss the tactile uh, feeling of having you beside them. So um, there's a lot of there's a lot of pain here as well. And um, 
you know, I feel like with the freedom is yours card, I'm starting to feel like they want to give you their freedom. Like they want to give you, they, it's like, it's not that they're running away from freedom, but they decided that they want to be free with you. That's the energy I'm picking up on. So, all right, guys, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Okay, group two. All of you that selected the beautiful fairy tarot. Okay, I'm going to shuffle this up and get a couple of cards. Get some oracle and some channeled messages as well and find out what are your dear person's thoughts and feelings what is group two's person's thoughts and feelings now what is group two's thoughts and feelings now what is group two's thoughts and feelings now okay hmm i'm hearing delightful like they're delighted by you. Sorry, I've got hair in my eye. Um, they're delight. They're delighted by you. There's something about you that's just so charming and delightful. You may be a Libra, Aries, or Aquarius. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like the person may be an, an Earth sign or a Fire sign. Of course, in our natal chart, we're all a blend of a lot of different signs. So, okay. We get five five of these cards and then I'm going to get some oracle and then we'll get into it. Woo! Woo! <laughs> that, that's interesting energy that I'm getting. I feel like um, they kind of fall, you make them kind of fall all over themselves or you get clumsy or they think your clumsiness is cute, okay? Um, or they may get a little clumsy around you because I think you make them nervous. Um, yeah, or they make you nervous. So whichever way that goes. But there's something here about, ah, oh, they make me nervous. Like I, oh, I just want to put my hands on that. That's what I'm getting very strongly. I just want to put my hands on that. Yeah. Um, I think when they, when they see you, it absolutely drives them crazy. I think... I'm picking up a lot of like sexual energy today. So um, I feel like they are just so attracted to you that they're beside themselves. And when you guys talk about everyday things, um, they're thinking about um, getting their hands on you. So there's something in your manner here that's very charming. They think you're just so charming and sweet. You're delightful. Like you're delightful to be around. And I don't think they've ever met anyone as delightful as you. And maybe, I don't think you're aware of it, which makes you adorable, okay? <laughs> Literally, I'm hearing adorable. Like, I'm just crazy about this sweet, cute, smart person. So, yeah, there's a lot of love here. A um, lot of love. Big, big, big love here. And they're just enjoying the moments with you a lot. You make them forget about their problems. It's like you guys are in a whole other world. You or your person might be an INFP personality type. I'm picking up on that pretty strongly. You might look that up if you don't know what it is. There's something about you that is very, I hear fey like That's probably why you picked this deck. Uh, you may have fey energy or you may give it um, as well. Okay, I, I would like to have three of these. I'm feeling this one too, so. Okay, let me get a couple from. This is the channeled like messages. I'm working on or, working on a couple of different Oracle decks, so try and oh, I don't know what that is. That's a number, I think. Okay. Alright. Oh, okay, we're gonna take those. Funny! <laughs> Okay, we're going to take those two. Uh, there's something about you that's very funny. Or they're funny. One of you guys are funny. So you're both funny. I think you laugh a lot together and they really enjoy that. They haven't had... I feel like their past relationships have been very heavy and dark. Um, a lot of responsibility. A lot of like... 
I feel like they were nagged a lot or you were nagged a lot and there's no judgment here. You know, we're, we're all doing the very best we can, you know. So, um, but you make them feel lighter. I think you have a very, a lot of healing energy that you give to this person. You're healing parts of them they didn't even know they had. So, it's a beautiful connection. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's lovely. You're lovely. They would, I think they describe you to other people as being lovely. You're lovely. That's awesome. What a beautiful thing to say about somebody, right? Okay, let's look at these tarot cards. Let's see what we got. We got the Nine of Wands. Yeah. We have the Nine of Pentacles. So 99 is going to be a number for you. You might want to look into that. We have the Wheel of Fortune. They feel very lucky. <laughs> we have the Devil. We got the Devil in the first deck as well. So uh, we have the Eight of Swords and they have we have the Devil. So <laughs> that's awesome energy. Okay. Powerful sexual chemistry here. They have a lot of uh, sexual thoughts about you um, all, all day long. Okay. It's almost like I'm feeling not obsessed, but it's like they just cannot get enough of your energy. So they like to think about it a lot. Um, let's see here. We have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay. They're thinking about this. So if you guys haven't gone to the next level, if you guys have been dating or just talking online or whatever, they want more. Okay. Um, and some of them actually want to get engaged. They want to nail it down. Okay. They don't want anyone to come in and take you. You feel like a gift. You feel like a gift. I'm picking that up strongly. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I don't feel like you guys are separating. I feel like you guys might live in different places or you both may be really busy and not able to spend a lot of time together. And I think this person thinks that if you guys go to the next level, like you make it more solid, maybe you move in together, maybe you get engaged. Um, I feel like they are, they, they'll feel safer. There's something about they don't want to lose you. Um, flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. I think they really like the way you flirt. I think it makes them feel alive when you flirt with them. Um, yeah, they they are in, they are completely like enraptured with you. Okay. We have wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Okay. So um, I'm feeling like with the engagement card here, you know, think about it. Don't just rush into it if, if it comes up that they want to go to the next level. You know, take a moment, take a deep breath, and um, relax into it. You don't want to have a lot of anxiety about it. If you have a lot of anxiety about it, you guys just need to spend more time together. That's all. And it'll work out. Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. So I feel like this is coming. Don't get overwhelmed. Okay? This is coming. Don't get overwhelmed. Uh, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love is as deep as the ocean. So there's something here about time. Like maybe they don't have a lot of time or maybe you're busy. Things are picking up for you, you know, and uh, you just don't have as much time. So I feel like um, a lot of the energy here is flirt. Flirting will help keep this connection really popping, okay? Um, we have soul journey. So yeah, I feel like this person believes that you're part of their soul. You're their soulmate. They may even like that twin flame, you know, phrase. Um, and I feel like they feel like you're a part of them. They feel with, a, with the will of fortune here, they feel blessed to have you. This little devil hero here feels very blessed to have you. Um, and I'm, I'm picking up on some. Let's see, we have the nine of wands here. And we have the eight of swords and we have the nine of pentacles. I feel like you've been through a lot and um, you have an independent spirit. I think you're a wounded warrior. I think um, you're not afraid to stand your ground. You're spunky, you're sassy, um, and you're smart. And all that wrapped into this adorable uh, energy is just irresistible to this devil. And they feel very blessed. And I feel like for both of you, the wheel of karma is turning. It's as if you both are going to be blessed to be able to go to the next level. Okay. The weight, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Don't try to force this. Don't, um, don't get real serious. Okay. Getting real serious will knock this out of balance with the Eight of Swords here. Okay, so um, don't keep it light. Keep it fun because that's why this person is so um, 
they almost feel like hypnotized, like a spell's been, been uh, thrown at them or something because they really cannot help the fact that they have to go deeper with you. They need a deeper connection. And not just a deeper connection, but a stable connection. Like they want to see you every day. They want to talk to you every day. And if you talk to this person every day, then they want to see you every day. Okay. And they're trying to figure out how to make this happen. Courageous. So they feel you're very courageous here. Um, there's a lot of energy of that, of overcoming with the nine of wands. Okay. I feel like uh, you faced a lot um, of really dark, dark stuff. And it hasn't left its mark on you. You still are very positive. Um, and you allow yourself time to heal and you take care of yourself and you know the value of lightheartedness. I say flirt, but you know exactly what I'm saying. Um, your connection is elevated. It's an elevated connection. So, um, when you guys are happy and joyful and flirty and having a good time, then it elevates the frequency you hold together and you you as a couple affect people around you so your energy together is infectious people pick up on it and they want to spend time with you also because you are together you may get more opportunity they may get more opportunity because it's like you guys flow in such a way that you become magnetic independently and that magnetism draws you both together so inspiring yes again with the wounded warrior i'm getting a very inspiring you inspire them to be a better human being and i tell you what that's an amazing thing um to do for your person like if if you inspire them to be a better human being then you know what more can you say you know they want to um they want to accomplish more and now i feel like their goals are more heartfelt than they were before they met you there's something about you that tender-hearted you're tender-hearted and because you're tender-hearted you have affected them. And they realize that their heart space is their heart space is tender too. Sorry, I got tongue tied. Um, and then I have funny. They like to laugh. They love your laugh. Your laugh is very um, sexy. It's uh, attractive. It's magnetic. I think other people. You may not know this, but other people are really attracted to you when you laugh. There's something about your laugh that is. Uh, infectious and I think when people hear you laugh they want to laugh too and not, it's not laugh at you they just want to join you in that energy of laughter so <laughs> I dream of you so this person you're deep in their subconscious they're dreaming of you and they dream of a beautiful life together they dream of uh, taking it to the next level they dream of you guys being married and having kids and having a life if if uh, you don't want to have kids, and they're not dreaming about that, obviously. Their kids may be dogs, or you may have a big extended family that's your friends. But they, they dream about having, like, group contact with you. Group contact with you. So it could be that they want to bring you into their friend group, or you want to bring them into your friend group, or they want to work with you, or you want to work with them. There's something about a group here. They want to bring you into their circle um, because they think you're so adorable. And... Um, I'm hearing when you're mad, you're so cute. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I know I, I know that's really frustrating to hear sometimes. And I feel, I feel like some of you are frustrated hearing that. Like, oh, so I'm cute when I'm mad, huh? So you don't take me seriously. No, they take you seriously. But seriously, you're adorable. And they feel like um, a little weak in the knees. Like when you get mad, deep down, they're like, oh, I don't want to make them mad. Oh, but yet, you're so cute that I feel like they tease you a lot. Like there's teasing and, and playful energy here with the flirting. and Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get some more energy here. Not your person, the thoughts and feelings of you now. Okay, trust in the magic. Yeah, they feel a magical energy with you. It, it's a connection they've never had before. So it's really profound. And they feel like you're you're a very special person. I think you have been through so much and uh, are not really affected by it. Of course, we're affected by trauma and things that happen, but it hasn't turned you into a negative person. Like it hasn't made you be ugly to other people. You still give people the benefit of the doubt. I think people have taken advantage of you and they know that and they want to protect you because you're special. Um, you're like a present, like you're a gift from, from Santa Claus. Like he would wake up and that's energy, not gender. You wake up in the morning on Christmas morning and there you are underneath the tree. Like what did they do to serve you? What did they do to bring you forward into their life? Like they feel so blessed by you. 
Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit more energy here. What are the thoughts and feelings for group two? Thoughts and feelings for group two. Okay, I have Otter Spirit. You are never alone. Aww. <laughs> this is a message to you. I think some of you may have struggled with feeling alone. Maybe you've been abandoned a lot in your life and you've never been able to really trust someone to really be there. Like you're always ready for the next shoe to fall and your trust is hard to get and they want it. They want you to trust them completely because they have your back. This may be the first person who's ever been in your life who wants to have your back, okay? Time to collaborate. Yeah, there we go with that engagement card. Uh, they really want to make this happen. If you guys don't live together, they want to live together. They definitely want to cohabitate, okay? They want you in their life every day, as often as possible. When they come home from work, they want to come home to you. They want to hear about your day. They want to hear about your troubles. So I feel like if you've kept things really light, um, this is advice to go deeper. Don't be afraid to go deeper with this person because they respect you um, and they love you. They treasure your connection. And... Um, I feel like you can trust this person. I feel like that's a big message that I want to bring forward is you can trust me. I, I'm not going to hurt you. I appreciate the human being you are. You don't see how beautiful you are. You don't see how, how magical and magnetic you are. You don't see how beautiful you are when you laugh and when you're mad. And the way you flirt, it's almost like flirting with a fairy. Okay, There's fae energy here. They feel like you're a precious little fairy in a box. Okay, and it's a beautiful energy. They want to keep you. They want to take care of you. So, oh, you guys, group two. <laughs> oh, this is such a sweet reading. I haven't had one of these in a while. And wow, wow, you guys are really blessed. So, okay, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a beautiful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Okay, group three. This is your reading. Um, you selected the Golden Nouveau Tarot. My nose is already starting to itch, so I'm pulling the energies gather. Okay, I think, and this may not resonate for you, so if it doesn't, then pick another stack, okay? But I'm feeling like this group is uncertain, and I think that may be why you picked this tarot deck. Um, this is about, this tarot has never failed me. <laughs> never, not one time. So, if you guys are wanting to know if you and your person, what their thoughts are, and if they really feel, do they are they really interested? How do they really feel about me? Um, then this is going to be your, your stack here, your group. So, I need to really shuffle this up, get some energy here. Group three, what are their person's thoughts and feelings? Uh, the two of swords uh, peaked out. I feel like I'm hearing, I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste my time. So the ten of uh, cups there peaked out as well. So it's almost like, is this real? Is this real or am I imagining this? Okay, I'm going to get five cards. Then I'm going to get some oracle as well. Group three's person's thoughts and feelings now. Two. Group three's person's thoughts and feelings now. I hear I'm scared. I'm scared. There's some fear here. That may be your fear. That might be why you feel uncertain um, about this connection. Um, there, there's definitely fear here. And it could be just fear of, of being close to somebody, you know? Um, Fear of being like emotionally intimate with somebody. And then I hear, I want that. I want it. I want it. But I don't know. Do they want it? Do they want me? There's a lot of uncertain energy here. I get three of these. Ooh, okay, I guess that one. All right, um, I'm gonna get some, three cards from the Lovers Oracle. Three cards for group three. Three cards for group three. <laughs> this this deck is so hard to shuffle. It's it's an awesome deck, but man, the usefulness of it, it over help it overcomes how hard it is to shuffle. So it's such a useful deck. There we go. There's one. 
too. And I'm feeling to cut the deck and do that. Okay. All right. And I'm going to get a few of these uh, channeled messages that I've gotten. Okay. Group three's thoughts and feelings. The person's thoughts and feelings. What's going on? What's their thoughts and feelings? This is interesting. You invade my thoughts. You invade my thoughts. I think they think of you a lot. Or you may be thinking of them a lot, but there's something about my thoughts feel invaded. Like, almost like I don't have control. I'm feeling this one. I don't have control over, I'm feeling this one right here, over my thought process. Like, I feel like, um, I'm feeling like this really big energy of just being overwhelmed a little bit. So, okay, let's get, get into the cards and see what we got. Okay, I have, okay, the Two of Swords. That's about reflection. Uh, it's about a decision, but it's also about self-reflection, being willing to go inside and look deeper at your emotions. Um, then we have the Ace of Wands. So uh, there's definitely sexual attraction here. Um, we have, I feel this pause here. We have the Hanged Man. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Independence, and another, okay, this is crazy. Another stack got nine, nine, nine as well. And this is the Wounded Warrior. Stack two got the Wounded Warrior as well. So that's interesting. And group one and two got the Devil. You have the Ace of Wands here. So I feel like the attraction between you two is intense. But it is, um, what is the word I'm looking for? It, it's intense. It's almost like you guys haven't gone there yet or if you have it hasn't been it hasn't been deep like the connection wasn't deep when you did so it, that's going to vary for different people they love your independence they may be very independent as well it might be what's causing you to question this we have chemistry here there's a strong magnetic connection uh, we have passion so I'm with the ace of wands you got someone sprung so allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Then we have um, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Your feelings are real. It's real, you guys. <laughs> it says so in the card. It's real. The connection's real. It's there. What's the fear about? Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So. Then we have close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Okay. Then we have I follow you under a fake name. Okay. All right. All right. I'm, I'm not like your ex. <laughs> achievement so this is somebody um i feel like okay this is this is somebody who's following you under a fake name and you probably have an idea maybe of who it is um the person you're thinking of they may follow you under their name and um a fake name okay i'm not sure why they would do that but um that's interesting uh so there's definitely romantic feelings here. There's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of passion. You have somebody sprung. There's definitely physical attraction. I think the hesitation is, is it deeper? Like, I'm sick of just having physical uh, relationships. There's no judgment. Like, if that's what you're into now, then, then cool. But th this person is thinking deeper. Okay? They want a deeper connection. Um, and I feel like... Um, there's some fear here because there's some baggage. There's some baggage from an ex, and it could be that person's ex or your ex or whatever, but there's definitely baggage from an ex. There may be an ex around their environment, okay? And um, I feel like many of you feel like I'm not like them. I'm not like them. I'm completely different from them. Um, yeah, and I feel like the achievement here is they, they want to make this happen. I feel like they don't know how right now. It's almost like there is an obstacle. Let's let's get some more cards here. I um, there's a, something about trust here. So maybe maybe you had an ex that cheated, or they had an ex that cheated, or somehow betrayed them, and their trust is one of the blocks here. That's the uncertain. That's the uncertain energy here. Um, they're not sure they can trust you or trust themselves with you. Oops. Let me get this card. Um, there's something about trust. 
It's almost like they have to earn your trust or you have to earn their trust. And it almost feels mutual, especially with this 9-9 nine nine here. Uh, stack 2 may have some stuff in it for you because 9-9 nine nine appeared, I believe, in Stack 2 as well. The same, the same cards, the 9 of Pentacles and the 9 of Wands. So um, I think they've been through a lot, you've been through a lot, uh, and there's this need to overcome this. Like They feel like if they can't overcome this block with trust, then they never will. If they can't do it with you, then they probably never will be able to. So it's like your connection is very healing, but there's this uncertainty with the hangman here. You just don't know. Just don't know. We have trust in the magic. So trust is here twice on the board. Um, then we have bring a gentle touch. So I feel like um, they need special care or you need special care and how you're treated, especially with this trust issue. And they know it. And um, I, I feel like they don't want to hurt you. So they're not sure if they can be as gentle with you as they need to be because they have their own baggage, right? So they're just not sure that they can make this pop, this happen. Give, grat give with gratitude and grace. So uh, they're really grateful for your connection. And it's made them question so much about their life. I think it's made them question who they want to be. Um, and... Uh, the kind of person they want to be and the kind of person they want to be with. I think they're thinking about family and um, they're feeling this passionate connection. And I feel like they there's something here about like they want their children to be gifted or they feel like having children with you, they would be gifted in some way. Maybe you both have a lot of talent or maybe one of you is really smart. Um, but there's something about like our kids would be so, so wonderful. They'd be amazing. And... Um, but with the two of swords here, I'm just feeling like, and with the hangman, I'm just feeling, oh, my nose is itching, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm feeling like the hangman energy, the two of swords, they're just, they're spending a lot of time reflecting about it. And it's almost like the more they reflect about it, the more the energy of uncertainty comes to the forefront. The more they're afraid. They're afraid to surrender to this. They're afraid they can't trust you. It's almost like they feel, if I, if my heart is broken one more time, I'm done. Like, I can't do this anymore. Like, if they, if they break my heart, I'm, I'm over it. And that's where the energy, I'm not like your ex. You know, for some of you, this is somebody you don't have any, you don't really talk to. Okay, this is like a secret admirer energy here. With, I follow you under a fake name. And they feel it. So if you're, if you're feeling like you're being watched, if you feel like somebody's got energy, like they're really into you and you can feel it in like your digital space or at work or something like that, yeah, they're, they're around, they're around. Um, air, paradigm shift. Okay, so uh, I feel like that is also scaring them. I feel like um, for, I'm just getting a handle on this. I feel like, you are making them question the way they live their life. You are making them question who is in their their life, like if they're trustworthy. It's almost like that you bring up this issue of trust or you bring or they bring it up to you. Like, is the people around me trustworthy? Can I depend on them? Because I feel like with the achievement here, I feel like they're working on like their money, their bag, their their stuff. And they want to make sure that you are just not a distraction. It's almost like they're questioning, is this just lust or is this love? Is it love and lust? I feel like it's definitely primal. It's definitely sexual. There's a lot of chemistry here. Um, but there's a need here to go deeper. They want more. Uh, I feel like this wounded warrior has been through a lot in their relationships. And they want to trust again. But they're terrified. Evolution. Okay, so that's the energy I feel coming forward for your connection. I feel like as soon as you both walk into accepting where you are, I think there's going to be a surrender. There, there's going to be a moment where the person's going to be like, either I'm going to step forward or I'm going to step away. Okay, so that's the moment of surrender. That's what they're trying to decide. Either I'm going to step forward and we're going to do this and see where it goes, or I'm going to just be done. Okay. That uncertainty is, is about trust. It's about trust. Earth star, initiation.
So I feel like with that card, there's an energy here of like a whole new beginning, like stepping into a whole new way of relating to people. I feel like for some of you, you bring out like this talent this person has. I feel like one of you or both of you is very talented. And I feel like there's inspiration here, with, especially with the um, Ace of Wands card. I feel like maybe you inspire each other. Maybe the person, you inspire the person and they don't want you to know. Um, because I feel like for some of you, it's like I'm seeing, you know, that picture with the, with the dogs at the table poker, playing poker, I feel like, you know, they're still hiding their cards. They don't want to show all their cards yet because they're just, they're trying to get ready to trust you. And I feel like there's a reason why it's like there's a lot, I feel like this connection could be really unusual, okay? And so there's a lot riding on the trust thing. There's a lot riding on that. So um, it's a really beautiful connection. I'm going to get some more cards for you. I think I've gotten more cards for you than anybody, but it just it feels right. So, oop, I dropped some cards. Hang on. All right, I got it. Sorry, my hair's everywhere. My face itches. <laughs> There's something about your fidgeting that maybe on camera or or at work or something maybe you fidget a lot and they think it's really cute there is something about your manner i picked this up in every stack i think there's just something about your manner that really pulls them in yeah i have uh, i'm sorry my nose is itching i feel like there's a lot of guides coming in right now i feel like this is a divinely guided uh, connection okay okay called soul gifts, training, it's time to step up. Okay, achievement here. I'm feeling like for a lot of you, this person is part of your life purpose. They're either going to help you get on the track to your life purpose or they're literally going to help you with your life purpose. It, it depends here. But there's a lot to achieve with this person. You could collaborate in some way. Uh, that could be, you know, you collaborate by being in a long-term relationship or you collaborate in work or some kind of creative way. And, um, it's almost like you both feel called. I feel like this person, if you don't know who this is and they're falling under a fake name, I feel like they're called to you. They feel the pull. They feel the energetic pull between you two. I feel heavy past life energy here. I think the past life that you guys were together was really intense. And I think, um, oh wow, this is sad. <laughs> I think they watched you die and it, it left a mark. And so they don't want to be hurt. And, you know, people die. It happens. But I think watching you die left some kind of serious mark on their psyche in this lifetime. And so they're afraid to trust because it hurts so much. They don't want to hurt again like that. They don't want to set themselves up for loss, you know. Trust the timing. Trust again. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. Okay? There, you don't have to rush into this. You don't have to make this happen tomorrow. They don't have to make it happen tomorrow. It's all in due time. Another message about trust here. So um, they're really trying. They're trying to learn to trust. Um, I'm seeing someone sit in a circle with people. It's almost like they're either in therapy or they're doing some kind of spiritual work. Or um, there is just a lot of guide energy around them. A lot of they're trying to heal this up. I feel like guides are coming through to try to heal this connection up so that you guys can be together because I feel like almost, and I don't really say this often, but it feels like destiny here. This feels like a destiny connection. Like you're gonna help both, both of you guys are gonna be helped by each other. So, all right, group three, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.